God have met you. Hmm. Tinubu has not even become president yet. It's not yet May 29th. And APC has started fighting, you know, about the ministerial list. Hmm. Before we go into the details of today's news, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, just know that you're doing yourself a disservice by not plugging this channel because this is where all the news, all the latest gist, all political news that you want, this is where we drop it. We are the first person that drops all those news. So please stay glued by subscribing. Like this video so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world as well. Lastly, please leave your comments in the comment section. Don't now, don't forget to, to turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Now, let's delve right into the details of today's news. Tinubu, crisis rocks APC over ministerial list. An all progressive Congress chieftain on Sunday alleged that the crisis rocking the party is because of the struggle ministerial slots in the Bola Tenobo administration. The chieftain who spoke with Sunday Telegraph on condition of anonymity said the struggle for the slots led to the suspensions of party members. He further stated that the party since the presidential and governorship elections has been battling with a crisis leading to the suspension of members. The suspensions have taken place across states like Delta, Abia, Enugu, and many other states. In Delta, the chairman of the NDDC, Loretta Onochi, and the governorship candidate of APC in the state, Deputy Senate President Ovie Omwagege, were suspended. In suspending Omwagege, the state chairman of a party, Ulebo Isaac, on behalf of the State Executive Committee of the APC Secretary, Inanna, Michael, and 23 others, unanimously in the expulsion letter, resolved and adopted the expulsion of Omar Gege as a member of a party by the Executive Committee of the Oregon Ward and Ugele North Local Government Chapter. The letter reads, and I quote, the State Executive Committee of All Progressive Congress, Delta State, in a meeting held on 31st March 2023 at the State Secretariat at Saba, after due deliberation of the Notice of Resolution of Expulsion of Senator Ovie Omagege as a member <coughs> pardon me, of the party by the Executive Committee of the Oregon Ward, an Ugeli North local government chapter dated 20th March 2023. And in accordance with the provision of Article 21, subsection 127, 21 subsection of the subsection 1G of the Constitution 2022, as amended, we unanimously resolved and adopted the expulsion of Senator Ovie Omagege as a member of a party. Omagege, the governorship candidate of the APC in Delta State, lost to the governor-elect, a candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Sheriff Obori Wori, also Lorieta Onachi, was also suspended by some factions of Delta APC. In Abia State, Seven chieftains, including former Abia State Governor Dr. Charles Akomas, former Minister of State for Solid Minerals Dr. Uche Oga, former Pro Chancellor of the University of Calabar Senator Unkechi Unwaogu, the Executive Secretary of the National Land Development Agency Paul Ukone, Honorable Sam Onogu, and others. Also suspended were Director General of VON, Osita Okechuku, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Godfrey Oyeama, Ken Unamani, former Governor of Enugu State, Civil Sullivan Chime, and others for alleged anti-party activities.
Okechuku reacting to his suspension said, The story of my kinsman, Ugo Abala, is the story of a failed chairman quarreling with himself. He came from PDP, akin to a political bandit, and hijacked our great party with the assistance of His Excellency, Ope Uzodema, Governor of Imo State. He drove all the stakeholders away and boasted he will quadruple the 56,000 we scored in the 2019 presidential election. Regrettably, he scored abysmal only 4,722. Instead of apologizing, I cited his CV flying around as the president elect House and APC headquarters. This is why he is telling childish lies against some of us who are foundation members of APC. We sold the only plot of land in Enugu during my gubernatorial election in 2011. Ironically, then Agbala was in the comfort zone of APC while we were constructing the APC, pardon me, was in the comfort zone of PDP while we were constructing the APC structure. Also reacting over their suspensions, Chief Ukere and Anyawu said the Abia State APC governorship candidate, Chief Unkechi Emenike, must be asked to account for the campaign money. According to Anyawu, Emenike neither erects any billboard for himself nor the APC presidential candidate, Bola Tinobu, anywhere in the state. The APC chieftain from the party's headquarters who spoke with the platform said, and I quote, Party members are against one another because of the ministerial slots. Our party has not formed the gov Govern 2023 meant yet. Members are already fighting for ministerial positions. All the fights you see in the party in the state are all about ministerial slots. Our party members are not interested in the state of a party or our president-elect but in the position they may occupy in the next dispensation. I would advise that the president-elect should look beyond those who were governorship candidates of the state in the last elections in appointing ministerial nominee, but consider merit and competence. Our party, whose victory is being challenged, should be able to appoint people with integrity and capac capacity as ministers and head of parastatus, imagine, oh, hey, Bola Ahmed Tenobu is not even yet the president, and people have started fighting. They started fighting, suspending themselves, all in the guise to eliminate their strongest opponent just to be in power. Hmm. Let me have your thoughts in the comment section, guys. Subscribe if you haven't. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.